Hey artists, today we're going to finish our realistic birch trees. To start, we're going to use some watercolor paints and carefully paint some lines in the snow. This is going to give our snow some depth. I started painting and it was too dark, so I just went back with a little bit of water and that lightened it up. Again, my paint was too dark, so I went back with water and lightened it up. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just want to add some really light paint lines. It's going to make your snow look a little bit more realistic. Again, if you notice your paint is too dark, just add some more water. You can also paint shadows. When you're painting the shadows, you can make them a little bit darker. Just slowly keep adding paint until it's the darkness you like. When you paint your shadows, make sure your shadows are all going in the same direction. My shadows are both going to the left. You can also go back and make your hills and your lines a little bit darker. And if you notice your paints are bleeding together, you can grab your sponge and blot them up. Now for the really exciting part, removing the masking tape. When you pull the masking tape off, you wanna go really slowly. If you notice your paper is starting to rip, stop and slow down. Again, you're just gonna pull that tape off really slowly, one by one, and you'll be left with these blank trees. As you pull off the tape, you may notice some little spots of paint that seeped through like those. Don't worry, we can cover those up with some paint later. Once you have all the tape pulled off, it's time to add some paint. So before you get started on your final, it's important to practice. Ooh, I'm practicing, that's way too much. Now it's starting to look right. Practice a few more times. When I feel like I've got the idea of making those birch tree marks, I can go ahead and get started on my tree. As I'm making those marks, I'm going in one direction. Whoop, and I'm covering up some of my paint spots from earlier. And I'm creating a lot of variety in those marks. As you're doing this, the important thing to do is go slow and really take your time. Before I start my next tree, I'm practicing again and just making sure I have the right amount of paint. You can always go back and add more paint if you feel like your trees aren't dark enough, but it's really hard to get rid of paint once it's on your paper. So just by dragging this piece of cardboard side to side, I'm cre able to create the texture of a realistic birch tree. So here I go again on my last trees, and I'm just gonna finish this up in fast motion. And that's it, friends. That's how you create realistic birch trees. Now it's your turn. Have fun, amazing artists.